This is basically where I live, to be honest, because I spend all day, all night in here usually, working on my stuff, doing remixes. Obviously, this piece of computer is the most important part of the whole studio. Uh, lots of outboard stuff here, things that make noises. Uh, a microphone for the occasional bit of singing, which doesn't happen too often, to be honest. Old vintage stuff there for the good old acid noises. Uh, hence my heroes up there. <laughs> That's right, really. Oh, man, it's my new baby here, the uh, Nord Rec 2. Although uh, my by now ex girlfriend uh, changed the name to Nerd Rec because <laughs> it can be a bit nerdy, all that button twiddling and computer and all that but you get some wicked noises out of that it's really amazing sin i'm from germany actually um i grew up uh, in cologne um and then when i was uh, about 25 i think uh, i decided to move over here uh, i started off as uh, engineer in uh, frankfurt uh, just recording basically other people's uh, stuff um only did that for a couple of years maybe and then uh, in 1990 I moved uh, to London and uh, first I thought I only come here for a year or two and now it's uh, nine years actually. Uh, I mean I always played in bands since the age of 15, 16 um, but I thought uh, uh, starting off as a sound engineer uh, would sort of get me into the studios for a start and uh, also you meet a uh, the right people that way uh, and after being uh, in first assistant engineer uh, which means making coffees basically uh, and then become an engineer uh, and I started working with DJs doing remixes uh, do a lot of uh, programming uh, and then eventually you get uh, into just like full-on uh, producing and writing sort of stuff and this is what I've been doing for the last four years now I guess I don't engineer anymore at all really I had some good success with the silence in Europe actually and uh, as far as I know um, they're all well into on my way as well. We actually recorded it in uh, French uh, for the French release because they get this funny law that uh, ha I think half half of all the songs on the radio have to be actually sung in French uh, and then I thought well as the singer is French uh, I might as well give them a French version. The album uh, is planned uh, to be released I'd say in probably October, November sort of days. Uh, I want to get it finished though by the end of the summer. Uh, I thought my deadline uh, is uh, July, end of July I want to have all 10 tracks uh, done and I got sort of a bit of an idea how to format the album, uh, not in it, don't not make it as like a traditional sort of uh, single 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 sort of album but have it all a bit mixed together have some 12 inches on there some remixes because obviously there's uh, the uh, famous uh, Matt Dairy remix of The Silence and the Rough Drivers mix of my new one is uh, really good as well that should be on the album um, I'm sort of you know writing stuff at the moment some some uh, slower numbers as well sort of uh, chill out type tunes and uh, I'm going to have probably three or four featured uh, singers on the album as well. All right well um, this is uh, sort of um, a little bit of um, a document saying I was nominated for a Grammy this year. Uh, best dance recording uh, alongside uh, Madonna and uh, I can't even remember I think there's always five um, artists in one category they get nominated uh, obviously Madonna snapped the actual award um, but uh, I thought uh, just being nominated is you know quite flattering and it looks all right on my studio wall up there should I tell you <laughs> that should be secret really now um, I mean it is quite obvious uh, you need a, a solid 909 kick drum uh, you need the right acid sort of noises obviously 303 I actually use uh, a program called Rebirth, which runs on the computer, which emulates a couple of uh, vintage 303 acid machines. Um, obviously, there's uh, my Juno 106, which I always use, uh, and the rest is sort of, you know, down to filtered 
effects, uh, chop break beats in the S3000, mix it all together, chop it up and there you go. On the remix, um, although I always say to myself, well, I'm going to have this done in two or three days, it usually takes me a week because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I always fiddle around for a couple more days, uh, you know, just to get it spot on. And uh, when I want to work on my own tracks, it usually takes me a couple of weeks for one tune. It's uh, it's probably a good idea to um, to work as a team with two people. Uh, I always found that um, for remixes, it's good to have one guy who does sort of the musical side, which is my part, what I do. Uh, but then it's also very good a very good idea to have a proper DJ who knows what works in the club, what people like, you know, where to have your breakdowns and how to build a track uh, in the arrangement and all that. So uh, I reckon that's good. Have one keyboarder and one DJ and you're off. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, isn't it? And he's from Cologne as well. So it's a small world, you know. Uh, I got um, It turned out that actually my best mate is signed to, uh, to Multiply as well as Mirrorball. Uh, so, you know, it's all one big happy family.